So I flipped right open to um, Jeremiah 8.11. So, um, let's see. So Jeremiah 8.12 starts, Were they ashamed when they had committed abomination? No, they were not at all ashamed nor did they know how to blush. Therefore they shall fall among those who fall. In the time of their punishment they shall be cast down, says the Lord. I will surely consume them, says the Lord. No grapes shall be on the vine, nor figs on the fig tree, and the leaf shall fade, and the things I have given them shall pass away from them. And it's interesting, I went on a walk, see those grapes, they're... Um, well, the figs are from a fig tree. They're uh, they're getting a little bit um, dried up, but they're sweet and juicy and yummy. Um, there's a certain fig tree um, that I always go to on my walk that's very abundant and fruitful. And then a neighbor around the corner, a lovely Polish lady, actually, that I just met, and her two Afghani hounds. And um, she was cleaning up her yard, doing some yard work. It was a beautiful day. And uh, she gave me some grapes. So there's the figs and grapes right there. And the point of this is, um, you know, people can try to gain success on the, um, the work and the struggle and blood, sweat, and tears of others. Um, but if they don't make that sacrifice themselves, and do honest work, then they shall bear no fruit. Okay? That's the word of the Lord telling you people out there who are, you know, leading people astray, taking their money because they're brokenhearted, they're desperate, they're sad, they're lonely. They're... You may get a couple bucks, okay? But you shall bear no fruit, okay? So if, if you don't repent and make it right and do honest work, okay, honest work, or if, you, if you've been dishonest, you know, it's okay. I mean, it's not okay, but repent, you know, blush, feel embarrassed. You know, that means you're not a psychopath, okay? You see where you've done wrong and you make it right with the Lord, not with me, not with anybody else. You know, if that makes you feel better or whatever, but you need to make it right with the Lord. Repent your sins, ask for forgiveness, and accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. That's the only way for your grapevine to bear grapes and your fig tree to bear figs and for your leaves to not fade. Doing honest work, whatever that looks like doesn't matter what it looks like as long as it's aligned with truth so blessings to you all i love you all and peace be with you all